What's up guys, welcome back. There's few things in this world I love more than jerk chicken and absolutely nothing smells better on the grill. Today I'll be showing you how to make it happen. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell, enable notifications as well. All right guys, let's get into these ingredients. Here we have two limes that we're gonna be using, a little bit of orange juice, some soy sauce, some brown sugar. We also have some green onion, some habanero peppers or scotch bonnet peppers if you can find them at your local grocery store. Some fresh thyme. We got some fresh garlic, some fresh ginger. You use ginger paste and garlic paste if you have to, but fresh is best. We have some salt and some all-purpose seasoning. Allspice or pimento berries. I like to get the whole ones, that way I can grind them up myself for extra flavor. But you can buy the already ground allspice as well. This will be found in the grocery store in the spice section under Jamaican allspice or ground allspice, or you can get the whole pimento seeds like you see there. This is my favorite jerk seasoning. It's from Walker's Wood. This company's based out of Jamaica. They're not a sponsor at all, but they're absolutely phenomenal guys. If you haven't tried them yet, give them a try. Let me know in the comments what your favorite jerk seasoning is. Here we're dicing up our ginger. We're about to make our marinade. I first started making jerk chicken from a recipe I found online from Chris at CaribbeanPot.com, so shout out to him. I've kind of made some adjustments to the recipe over the years. I've been making this for about seven or eight years now, but the very first recipe I learned it from was from Chris, so shout out to Chris. We're going into our blender here with some fresh ginger, some fresh garlic, and some fresh thyme. As always, guys, the specific measurements and ingredients can be found in the description box below. I get excited every time there's a cookout because I gotta throw some jerk chicken on the grill. It's one of my favorite foods. Jamaican food in general is one of my favorite foods. Me and my wife actually got married in Jamaica because of that. And it just brings back a lot of memories every time I make it. So here we're dicing up our green onion. We're gonna throw that into our blender as well. And a half of a yellow onion. Really guys, you could just use the Walker's Wood product. It's a really good product, but I do like to uh, jazz it up a little bit here. Uh, by adding a few different flavors. Going in with the soy sauce and the orange juice. This is a habanero pepper. If you can find scotch bonnet, you can use that. That's, that's traditional in jerk chicken. But it's hard to find here in the United States. So here we are dicing up a habanero pepper, which is like the cousin of the scotch bonnet. Very similar in flavor profile and heat. And then we're going in with the juice of a lime. Say it with me guys, looking good. Quick reminder that all the specific measurements and ingredients can be found in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. Any day now, we'll be finished squeezing this lime juice. Here, as I said earlier, I like to grind my own uh, allspice or pimento berries. That way you get a lot more flavor from it. The jarred stuff that's already ground up tastes good also, but it just doesn't have that pop the fresh stuff has. So I like to grind mine up. Totally optional though, you don't have to do this. You could also add a pinch of cinnamon and a pinch of nutmeg to your blend if you want to as well. And we're going in with about a teaspoon or two of that allspice. Going in with the brown sugar to kind of offset the heat because you guys know I'm a little bit of a punk and then a couple tablespoons of that Walker's Wood jerk paste. And that, my friends, is gonna be our marinade. So we're gonna add this to the blender, blend it up for a minute or so until everything's nice and smooth. And then we're gonna go ahead and clean our chicken. So cleaning chicken is a little bit controversial. You can choose to do this or not. If you do choose to clean your chicken, make sure you clean the area that you cleaned your chicken in afterwards. So we're going in with the juice of a lime and a little apple cider vinegar. I like to do this for my poultry because the acid in the vinegar and the lime juice actually begins to tenderize the meat and adds a little bit of flavor. So once we've gone in with our lime juice and our apple cider vinegar, we're gonna rinse everything off with some cold water. Then we're gonna thoroughly clean our sink. Another option here, guys, if you're not trying to marinate the chicken all overnight, you can score it with your knife. I'm not gonna do that because I like the, the way the skin looks when you don't score it. But if you're trying to get some, the marinade to penetrate into the meat really quickly, you can go ahead and score it or make some slits in the meat. We're not doing that today though. We're gonna season this with some all-purpose seasoning and some jerk seasoning, just to get the party started. Then we're gonna add our marinade and put this in the refrigerator for at least four hours, preferably overnight. You really wanna let that marinade get into the chicken you want that flavor all the way down to the bone. 
Get in there with your hands. Make sure you add the marinade underneath the skin. So much flavor packed into the marinade that we made, guys. You definitely want to make sure the chicken absorbs all of that flavor. So we're going to cover this and pop this in the fridge for at least four hours. And this episode is sponsored by Stamps.com. Are you still going to the post office, still paying full price for postage? Well, thanks to Stamps.com, you don't have to do that anymore. Mail and ship anytime, anywhere, right from your computer. Send letters, ship packages, and pay less. Much less. With discounted rates from USPS, UPS, and more. Stamps.com saves businesses thousands of hours and tons of money each and every year. And I'm actually learning that myself now that I'm shipping out all of these all-purpose seasonings all across the country. And it's really that simple, guys. Stop wasting time going to the post office and go to Stamps.com instead. There's absolutely no risk, and with my promo code, Mr. Make It Happen, you get a special offer that includes four-week free trial, plus free postage, and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts required. Simply go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in Mr. Make It Happen. That's Stamps.com, promo code Mr. Make It Happen. Stamps.com, never go to the post office again. And now that we got that out of the way, it's time to fire up the grill. So we got the grill set to 350 degrees. We're going to go in with some wood chunks just to add a little bit of smoky flavor. Here I'm using oak. If you had some pimento wood, that would be ideal. We're going to set this up for indirect grilling. That way we get some smoke on the chicken. And once the smoke has had time to do its thing, we're going to grill it over direct flame. So again, 350 degrees on your grill or in your oven, that's fine as well. Then I removed one of the heat deflectors and allowed for one side to be direct grilling and one side to be indirect. This is great because you, you can get some color on the direct side of the grill and then move it over to the indirect side of the grill if anything starts cooking too quickly. I'll do a full tutorial on all of that here soon. Quick little early money shot, man that looks good. Once you get some color on the skin side, we're going to flip it over, baste it with a little lime juice, and just let this keep cooking. We're looking for 175 degrees internal temperature, which usually takes around 45 to 50 minutes, roughly, depending on how big and what's, what type of chicken you're using. Here, obviously, we're using some leg quarters. Let's take another look. Oh, man, nothing like some jerk chicken on the grill, guys. This is going to smell phenomenal. Your neighbors are going to be super jealous. If you don't have a grill, you can do this in the oven at 350 to 375 degrees for about 30 to 45 minutes or until it hits an internal temperature of 175 degrees. At the end, if you want to get additional color, just put it under the broiler for five or six minutes. And these, my friends, I'm going to call finished. Man, that looks good. Look at the color. Super juicy, cooked perfectly. Tons of flavor from that overnight marinade. And now there's nothing to do but cut it up, plate it up, and taste it. Say it with me guys, looking good. We broke out our samurai sword. You can just see how juicy the chicken is, cooked to perfection. Tons of flavor all the way down to the bone. I'm getting hungry looking at this. I might gotta make some jerk chicken tonight. Take your knife and run it down the joint between the thigh and the drum and it'll separate beautifully. You can just see how juicy the chicken is. Oh my goodness. Definitely a little food porn going on. Money shots all over the place. And I went ahead and plated this up with some limes, a little chopped green onion, and one more habanero pepper. Just for a little presentation and to make the thumbnail look nice. And now my friends, you know what time it is. A little fresh lime juice, and then I gotta get in here for a taste test. Let me know what you think in the comments. Moment of truth. Oh man. You guys know that's good. Doesn't get much better than that, guys. That's my recipe for jerk chicken. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.